What's happening, everyone? Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. Guardians of the Galaxy has been out for a week now, and I want to say thank you to Square Enix and Eidos Montreal for providing me with a review copy of the game. I am now on my second full playthrough on PlayStation 5, and this right now, as of November 1st, 2021, is my game of the year. I absolutely love this game so much. And I hope that you guys out there give it a chance because to me, this might be my favorite Marvel story I've ever experienced in a video game. Let me take that back. Not just Marvel, comic book in general. This is up there with Spider-Man, with the Arkham series, in terms of just sheer joy that I felt playing a video game, experiencing the story and everything. It's just such a fun game with so much going on for it. And I know that there are some people that are writing it off because of certain scenarios like only playing as Star-Lord and not having multiplayer. And that's fair. Okay, I accept that. You know, those are definitely reasons why I understand someone would not give it the attention. But I will say, at some point in your life, this game is going to be on sale for 40 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever it may be and i implore you give it a shot when it's cheaper for you whatever it may be or run out and get it right now because i promise you you're not going to be disappointed those things are are things that i personally did not care about all right i can accept and understand that there are games that are just meant to be experiences and that is what guardians of the galaxy is for me and i have to make sure people understand not everybody's going to have the same experience as me because Cosmic Marvel is my favorite Marvel. That is my wheelhouse. I love Marvel uh, in space, <laughs> you know? Like War Kings, Realm of Kings, Annihilation. Everybody always asks in streams, Jay, I'm starting comics. What should I read first? Annihilation. It's where I fell in love with Nova, and it's where the modern-day Guardians of the Galaxy were born. We get to see Gamora become the deadliest woman in the galaxy, and we get to see Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon and Groot and Drax all kind of come together. And uh, that is something that we experience in Guardians of the Galaxy, the video game, where this is a group that's been together for about 14 to 15 missions uh, that we find out through the story. So they're still kind of new to each other, but they're very aware of each other, and they're, they talk about their histories and we experience them coming of age and feeling out what it means to be a real team. And we see a maturation of all of them. We see them all have their struggles with their past. We see them all try to, to build bonds with each other. We see them struggle to build bonds with each other. You know, Rocket is, is kind of Rocket, you know? And uh, it's really just a fun experience and I really, really just love it so much. And I love Deus Ex, uh, Human Revolution, Mankind Divided. Like Those are two of the games I've just loved. I love Adam Jansen, his whole story. So like I'm really familiar with Eidos through that, okay? And I would love to get another Deus Ex game, but man, I want Guardians of the Galaxy 2 first. There's so much to do. You're going to get about 15 to 20 hours out of this game on your first playthrough depending on how hard you look for collectibles. Uh, there are a couple collectibles that you can find that are going to let you have conversations with the Guardians on the ship, uh, the Milano. And then there are costumes you can find for each character. Each character has roughly seven to nine costumes, uh, with obviously Star-Lord having the most. And uh, I thought it was fun to be able to find those and, and kind of equip them, you know, to have the entire team dressed as the Nova Corps. There's so many fun, you know, little Easter eggs tucked within the game. Definitely make sure you visit the Collector's Emporium. It is chock full of Easter eggs. And there's lots of references to, to some of my favorite characters in the entire Marvel Universe throughout. As many of you guys know that follow the channel, Nova is one of my top three favorites. It's part of my, my holy trinity of Marvel characters with Deadpool and Thor. You know, Richard Rider is is amazing. I love that character. And he's referenced so many times in this game, as is Darkhawk, which is one of my favorite characters growing up. So these are reasons I want another game because I want to see them incorporate Darkhawk and I want to see them incorporate 
the actual real Richard Ryder Nova. Maybe a second game could be the search for Richard Ryder. Who knows? But it's all there. There's tons of references uh, to, to big bad villains. Uh, we see some flashbacks to certain villains. I don't want to spoil. Uh, there's a massive monstrous villain that we get to fight. And uh, again, I don't want spoilers. It's so cool. And it's, it's just honestly, it's a, a flashback to the 80s. The soundtrack is phenomenal. The combat, the gameplay, it's not reinventing the wheel, right? You know, it's, it's, it's fairly basic. And the RPG elements are also pretty basic. You've got, you know, four abilities for each character, three of which you can upgrade and, and add to the character. And you know, you've got some minor upgrades you can make to Star-Lord's gear. It's not, again, reinventing the wheel. It's kind of base level stuff. But it makes it so that you're really just kind of concentrating on, on what you're there for, and that's experiencing Marvel at its finest, you know? And I think a lot of us look at the Guardians of the Galaxy and, and we see, you know, Chris Pratt, and we see Dave Bautista and Zoe Saldana, and we hear Vin Diesel and Bradley Cooper because, you know, they've become so important to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But with this, I never thought about them. I just felt like these were my guardians and that's really important to me because I know we've seen it with Avengers where there's been this struggle with you know the MCU characters having become such an important part of all of our lives that you can't really separate this different story this different variation this different version of the Avengers with what we've just become so accustomed to and that's something that, at least for me, even though there are MCU skins that you can wear in this game, I never thought about the, the Guardians from the MCU. These were my Guardians, and I just loved it. The, the banter they have on the Milano, you know, all the little lore that you can explore on the Milano. I, sometimes I would find myself just sitting there with my controller put down, with the audio up, doing something on Twitter, something stupid, innocuous, whatever, and I would just hear them go into the story with each other or start arguing with each other or bickering or whatever it may be. And it was just fascinating because there's just so much little stuff there. And and I just, I adore this game so much. 9.5 out of 10. I don't want to give, I want to give it a 10, but I don't want to give it a 10 because to me, once you hit 10, you can't go above that. So I'm very, 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 very careful with that. The only complaint I really had is, you know, they had a streamer mode, which is amazing, okay? And that made it so much easier because there's a, a very big uh, soundtrack full of, uh, you know, a lot of different artists like Rick Astley. You could Rick get Rick rolled by the game, which amazing, right? Um, Kiss is in the game, and, and I love that because... You know, my uncle used to work for Kiss, and uh, Kiss has actually had dinner at my grandparents' house. So, like, this is all, there's a fantastic soundtrack, but having a streamer mode made it so I didn't have to worry about getting copyright stuff. But they kind of made me wear it like a scarlet letter. At the top of the screen, it just said streamer mode throughout the entire game. And I hated that. I, I, I understand that they want it there for when people watch the video so that the people can understand, hey, you know, there's supposed to be some kick-ass music here, but, uh, you know, streamer mode. Um, so that is crazy to me because I didn't even experience the game at its best with the soundtrack playing in the background in the best spots. Um, as far as, you know, actually playing the game, you know, you control the Guardians with Star-Lord, and it's a little tricky and it takes some getting used to, but once you get it, it it's, it's really cool. And again, not reinventing the wheel. You know, it's basically point-and-shoot stuff, right? Uh, and tell your guardians to go do this, go do that. And there's just lots of really cool things that you can do. They've got these huddles, which, eh, I mean, they're cool. They give you a boost if you uh, guess the right interaction. Um, but, you know, they're they're more in intrusive than anything over time playing the game. Still worth it to get the buff, which is why we all do it. But uh, I kind of had a feeling that over time that might not be, you know, perfect. Uh, the story, I, I just honestly, it's fantastic. It, it's definitely a, a take on a, a really cool, you know, story matter. Maybe not like traditional Guardian lore, but uh, the big bad villain at the end, uh, the very, very end, 
uh, how that character came to be and the struggle with another character that you interact with. Like, all of that's really cool. Uh, I will say that we do meet Mantis during the course of the game, and she might be my favorite guardian of them all, and we don't even get to play as her. She plays her Celestial Madonna role, and it's just really cool. Like, honestly, when it all comes together, it, it's just fantastic. And I love this game so much. And when I do this review, I want people to listen to that. My love for Cosmic Marvel and how much this game means to me. Now, I again understand my love for Cosmic Marvel supersedes so many people. This game might not mean as much to you because I love these characters so much and I have for so long, you know. Uh, but I really think you should give it a chance. And I am not saying that because they gave it to me because I bought the game on PlayStation 5, the Cosmic Deluxe Edition, for myself. And honestly, uh, I want DLC. I will pay for DLC if they give it to me. I, I just want more, 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 more. Uh, they knocked it out of the park with this. Um, if for some reason you've been scared off by Square Enix uh, with what they've done with Avengers, you know, I don't want to get into that conversation. But I will say this is a different studio, and I give it my highest recommendation. I cannot recommend it enough. I hope you play the game, enjoy the game, love the game as much as I did. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think if you have played the game in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you. We'll see you.